Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at S&P 500, Nasdaq and then individual tech stocks that's Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta and Netflix. So before going further I also want to let you know none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. So starting off with SPY, uh, what are we seeing? Well we are still in the bullish structure all right guys nothing has changed on the structure side and i have been saying that this for quite some time now because price action is bullish why would i say that otherwise right spy can still stay where it is even until 555 what i mean by that where it is i mean in the bullish structure so if any sell-off comes until 555 that will just be a pullback even until 20 days moving average, that will just be a pullback on SPY. SPY is in a full-on bullish structure. We don't need this blue box anymore. And even if we come down to this level of 550 at this point, that will still keep uh, SPY bullish. We have a strong pivots and strong support there as well. And before it even, if let's say for some reason, if it has to sell off, we have to first see a distribution phase here and the consolidation, wherever that would be. But until that doesn't happen, any pullback to these levels is just going to constitute just a pullback and intraday trades can still be traded to the upside and then eventually they could be turned into swing if position continues to stay bullish right and accordingly you will size in size out your position taking a look at hourly interval as well you can see structure is still holding bullish not a single sign of bearishness for tomorrow intraday if we lose level of 560 that means we are losing a pivot uh, then you can expect some cool off that may come back again down to 555 but for now we'll just have to take that as a cool off um, and yeah if we continue to stay above this 20 and 50 hours moving average this may make another leg up right so yeah that's that spy is still technically bullish but this is the area of structure you are watching that is at 560 for tomorrow's intraday all right so let's take a look at QQQ now and let's go to the daily interval so uh, yeah guys well yes structure is still technically bullish UQ has some a deeper sell-off but is this a bearish structure no until this blue box that is until 490 anything above on QQ even this area like 486 and 490 on QQ is just a bullish sentiment you can see these pullbacks over here at these levels just still got bought back up so you're still better off trading intraday long and if I take you to the hourly interval, you can clearly see that we are still getting bought back up at intraday levels. So we still have a higher pivot holding on QQQ, right? So what is the play for tomorrow? If and only if we lose this level of 495, some cool off may come down to 200 hours moving average or till that blue box, but nothing more than that. Overall structure is still bullish. And if it's continuing to stay right above this 496 and 47 cents, just can continue higher technically structure overall though on QQQ has not given any downside okay we are still above this area of support that the blue box is on the overall structure let's take a look at Microsoft now at the individual tech stock so Microsoft a little bit struggling still trying to hold this blue box and with Microsoft guys it's a very simple play if we lose 450 to the downside you can expect it may cool off to 50 days moving average wherever that would be if we try to get above blue box on a strong candle volume 456 above we can again test at least this recent highs right so let's correct the hourly interval because this is what I've talked about over the weekend as well with Microsoft is that it all comes down to which direction it breaks this box right so just because there was this 200 hours moving average also up there you can see it tried to go up but sold off so for upside i definitely want to see it first above 200 hours moving average otherwise microsoft looks like it can continue to most likely sell off that's a very likely possibility as soon as we start to lose this blue box bottom that is at 450 and upside is up again i want it first above 200 hours moving average as well apple then only play the upside then okay apple structure is still bullish yes today we gapped up then cooled off um structure is not bearish though but tomorrow if we lose 233 you can expect some downside to come at this point if it continues to cool off until eventually 20 days moving average that will still not change the structure bearish on this thing this thing has well level by level if it continues lower that's fine let let the pullback happens 
and then when you get to the stage of air, uh, the, those areas of support like structural support like for example today was one of this area 233 you can see it got bought back up at the significant level precisely guys get access to my tools if you need access links are in the description below of this video and yeah if it tomorrow as i said lose 233 you can expect some cool off that may eventually come down to 225 but until then structure overall is not bearish on apple it will just be a pullback and it will be still in the bullish structure and through the pullbacks you can then watch if the levels are holding with double bottoms consolidations pivots are forming higher pivots are forming and then you can play it back into the upside google above 20 days moving average still google is buying whiz that's the big news when that's going to happen we don't know 23 billion dollar deal though but what what if we don't know about the news what is the technical telling us because technically news is so great but the stock is still doing just very it's minimal thing because we are trading technically and technically that's all google can give google didn't gap up on that big news because it's not that a big of a news it's just a news it doesn't matter technically what the price is if the if the stock would have fallen today you know what the news would have said oh because google is spending 23 billion dollars and you know market doesn't see this as a, a good deal because there are other competitors as well and google is not making a good decision right just because now google went a little bit up the news has made this whole buying sound like oh this is so great and look at it prices up again news is in the business to sell their news they will do anything any narrative to sell you the news it doesn't matter what is the price session telling us well we were still bullish this was this is technically the area uh, 184 and 52 since technically yes google did lose this area 186 and 14 since that was one of the pivots area but again this is just not a plank board i would want to say break 20 days moving average and with these levels like 184 and 52 cents these boxy boxed out area and then one level level leg down may come but only until 50 days moving average because technically google is also still bullish amazon so Amazon, as expected, continued to sold off, got to that blue box area and got bought back up there. You can see it sold off below 200 hours moving average, continuous rejection below that. And the trend is, you know, to the downside on Amazon. And yes, guys, trend on Amazon is to the downside. Now, um, the thing is that, let me actually zoom out a little bit here. And the thing is that now if we continue to lose this blue box you know however that happens then eventually if we lose these pivots right area with this blue box then next level you're watching is 50 days moving average and if we lose that as well then again level by level to the downside but yeah right now it's not in that full-on bullish structure at this point if i want to trade it back again with the confidence to the upside i de definitely it's holding that blue box look at it precisely dipped in there and got bought back up right so at, at this point i'm not comfortable trading it long because there's this resistance zone sitting up here as well 194 all right so yeah i would only wait and see if it sells off more i'm not i'm personally myself i'm not comfortable trading it long because we have a lower pivots as well if you are really like trading amazon intraday you are a big fan of trading amazon intraday then i would suggest let it first get out of these pivots at least get above this level of 193 and 60 not just that but 194 area at least then only structure will start to change back again to the upside otherwise now structure is still uh, weak enough this is the level for that 193.65 cents to 194 and 80 cents area amazon oh sorry amazon we just talked about meta so meta guys is also in the downtrend as i have been saying any rebounds on this might most likely will be shorted this is their overhead resistance zone now uh, below this channel oh sorry the trend line and you can see today i meta tried to rebound sold off now as let's go to the hourly interval and since it's in the downtrend right um yeah if we continue to lose level by level to the downside like if tomorrow we lose 494 this thing is going to slip lower to the next level right and uh, at this point i would only want to trade it back again to the upside with even as some rebound uh, definitely there is one thing that if you're a really good scalper even on long you can trade 494 above if this level continues to hold back up again to 502 and then above that some little bit more upside may come but uh intraday only if this rebounds happens um, but if we break 494 and 97 since it will just continue lower 
So pretty much you are watching the now this level, right? Like if it consolidates here and then slowly and slowly breaks these levels to the upside and then that would be 521.71 cents or if it finds support at 494.97 cents and then you can see if it, you see the wick here in the early morning hours tomorrow buying happening and it starts to crawl its way up it can continue higher in this rebound but please remember meta is not in that full-on uptrend it's right now in the either rebound phases but most likely on intraday, it is already in the downtrend phase, all right? So that's already happening. Netflix. So Netflix, as I said, uh, it's in the downtrend, but at least the structure is in the downtrend. And I mentioned that any rebound into this blue box will most likely be shorted. And you can see today we had a sell off right into that blue box. We are finding some support at 50 days moving average. Is this a strong support that can turn uh, Netflix bullish again? We'll have to go to the hourly interval for that so here's the thing so if netflix can stay above this level of 654 and 47 cents yes it can, uh, can try to continue up again all right and test 200 hours moving average that's only what i would trade this still intraday long until only this inside this blue box somewhere as long as it stays above 600 and 54 and 47 cents if we lose this to the downside, well, it's then just a continuation to the downside. And with that, you would want to see at this point, I would say, let it also lose then 50 days moving average. Most likely what may happen now, it may try to go crawl its way up and then start rejecting at the blue box. And then eventually it takes after a couple of days break 50 days moving average and may go lower. That's a likely possibility as well. But yeah, say once we lose $635, guys, that's where the problem is that's when things will start to go much more deeper to the downside all right guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next video stick it bye